Welcome to the Long Box Paradox. I'm Dan, and my special guest today is Gambit, and today we're talking about Captain Marvel. Yeah. Not that DC one. <laughs> we're talking about the former Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. Um, I want to go ahead and, before we start, this review is a non-spoiler, and... We're not one of those men's right activist bullshit people pissed <laughs> off because she said that she wanted diversity when interviewing. She could have worded it better, but seriously, fuck you if you're trying to sub submarine this movie. Um, all right, let's start it out. Are you a scroll? We can we can, <laughs> <laughs> we, can we can say fuck. That's awesome. Oh, you said it. Um, <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Spoiler-free review. Man, I, 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 I like that movie. I actually enjoy it. I, I, I try to stay away from the early reviews as much as possible, and I think that really helped because the only thing I knew going in, two spoiler review, no, not two spoiler, two after-credit scenes, after which scenes. one's very important. Yes. One is comedy. <laughs> comedy gold. Uh, so... As far as the Marvel movies, where would you place this in your pantheon? Um, oh, wow. Man. I, I would say it's in my top ten. I wouldn't say it's in my top five, honestly. I did enjoy it. I did like it a lot. I love the soundtrack, but I think it was a little bit overused. You know, I, They wanted to, to let us know that we're in, during, during this specific period of time. I get it. Um, but it was it was... It was a little bit too much at times, but still great soundtrack. So that kind of, I don't know how to, how to explain it. Kind of compensate the overuse, the fact that I liked it. It's like, okay, I, I'll take it. Well, it, it definitely tells you the time period you're in. Yes. And I'm, I was a teen in the 90s. <laughs> so each one of those songs, I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. shaking my head like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, trying to figure out if the millennial near me is going to be like, <laughs> What the fuck is this? Am I going to have to Spotify this oh soundtrack? Oh, my God. Um, I really dug it. Um, Brie Larson had this mix of, um, I wouldn't call it empowering, but she could be vulnerable and then go to smartass with like kind of a sneering look. Um, her and Jude Law played off each other really great. There, There's moments in this I really like. There's some slow parts. I'm not going to downplay that. For me, I put this movie right around that Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, where yes. you don't want to overcompensate and say, you know, oh, it's it's the best movie. Because, I mean, coming out of Black Panther, and I feel like every time I leave one of the Marvel movies, I'm always thinking, okay, does this dethrone, for me, yeah. Winter Soldier is my top movie. So right there, I'm always like, okay, this was really good. Does it dethrone that? Uh, Black Panther was really damn good. I think that was pretty close to my top five. Uh, the original Avengers is up there. Infinity War is... That will kick me right in the feels by the end. So I, I just... <laughs> uh, Thor... Yeah. Ragnarok is this whole other weird movie where it and Guardians of the Galaxy number one are like neck and neck because they're comedies maybe <laughs> I, I mean I, I love I love to Ragnarok I, yeah I, I uh, going to but back to to Captain Marvel and 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 Larson's performance um at first I I she was a little bit uh, for me it felt that she was a little bit uh too too static but it kind of worked with the with the character with what she was going through you know in, kind of in the beginning out. I thought she was not great by the time you hit the mid Oh, yeah. Part of the movie where <laughs> she starts interacting with a lot of the other characters. And she's more comfortable. She feels she, more comfortable. She's not as much too. of a soldier with um, uh, Jude Law, yeah. like kind of over her, telling her to lose her emotions and you know stop thinking about the past. Yeah. Ben Mendelsohn as Talos <laughs> the Scroll puts on a performance that that was beautiful. He has facial gestures he makes. Um, especially there's interactions with the cat Goose. Goose is a standout of this movie. Goose is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Goose is more than a prop. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. cat has a personality that is fantastic. Um, Samuel L. Jackson does not scream. He's very subdued. He has some comic moments. 
Uh, Mendelssohn was great. Jude Law, for what he was given, I thought was really good. I think the performances overall, they were, they were pretty solid. They were pretty solid. I, I, like I said, at first I felt, <clears throat> with, with, with Larson, I felt that she was a little bit uh, static. But when, when you see how the character moves through the movie and how she loosens up, you know, it, it works with the character. It works with who she was, where she was in, 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 in that headspace. And for those people that said that she did not smile in the in the in the trailers that they were complaining about how she didn't smile, she smiles a lot in this movie, and she actually has a pretty smile. I haven't noticed that. Yeah, um, <laughs> she also there's a sense of humor, which if you're not a sarcastic person, you might not get. Yeah, you you have to kind of be in that headspace that she's a former soldier. She's used to ball busting. And when she's with the Cree, there's a whole lot of ball busting going on before they go on a mission. And I, I don't know if that's something... Else. I mean, the whole bullshit between them bombing Rotten Tomatoes and stuff. Well, I'm not going to say this is the greatest Marvel movie. It's no. probably not even the greatest comic movie made. But what are you going to see the movie for? Escapism. To have fun. I had fun. I, yeah, I, I, I dug it. If it's, a, if it's a bill, I went uh, to watch uh, some... Uh, Special effects, some uh, aliens, spaceship, did space, and oh, that's what I got. And scrolls. And, <laughs> scrolls. And also, uh, Ronan the Cuser's in it, and I'm just going to give you the heads up now. It is not Lee Pace. He, he's Are you not sure a, it's not him? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look that up. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I'm going to look that up like right now because I have the app here. No, nothing seemed right about the performance, the voice. It did felt weird. It did felt weird. Of course, my my phone is super slow today. But I'm the same guy who saw Aquaman, did not realize for the longest time that uh, <laughs> Ivan Drago was in the movie playing Mira's dad. I, I thought it was Viggo Mortensen for half the movie, pretty much. Man. Oh, it, it is him. Okay, well, I am way fucking wrong on this, and I've just been proven wrong on a live broadcast. So. It, it isn't. No, no, I had my doubts. He, he did look different, and he sounded different. The voice was way different. Well, fuck, I'm wrong. Okay, well. No, 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 you know, but, it, but, it, but it works with the fact that the movie is based, like, years before, so we we're having a younger character. Yeah, where, you know. I mean, he didn't have the war paint. The body seemed yeah. off. The voice definitely, it was more reedy and not like the, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, he didn't put that, yeah. uh, that deep in it. Like I mean, I guess to, when you don't have Star-Lord like getting you into a dance-off, you don't really <laughs> get that. You, you get, miss right? out on that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, younger Coulson's in it. They use that de-aging shit. Look, dude. Well, look. <laughs> dude. I was gonna, I was gonna comment on that. I'm gonna, I was gonna, uh, I was gonna joke about the guy that they they casted to play Nick Fury as a young, uh, uh, as the young Nick Fury was pretty spot on. But of course, we all know it's Samuel L. Jackson with with CGI to make him look. look yeah, younger. but uh, it was great. Annette that was, Benning that was is in it, job. playing two roles. Um, the way they show the scrolls do their transformations, I like. That's pretty cool. Um, it, it's painful. It was, painful. Yeah, the way they do it, like, they kind of wince and stuff. It's not, like, just spot on. And they also say, we have to have seen someone doing this. And Stanley has a little tribute at the beginning before the before you get into the actual movie, where normally the Marvel and they show the whole universe, they have him. Um, there was a slow clap when that happened. And yeah. Stan also has a cameo, which when you figure out the timeline on it, Fucking totally matches up, and I'm pretty sure Kevin Smith, when he sees it, cried. Oh, I, I can almost guarantee it, or he laughed. Um, fuck it, I'm going to spoil this. <laughs> so Stan's on a train, reading the script to Mall Rats, reading some of the lines over and over. And again, you look at it and you're like, well, that can't be... Oh, yep, that did exactly, come out. That exactly, time. exactly. When, it, when that, scene, that scene happened, I'm like, I'm, I'm like what is it? Wait, what? What? Oh, what? oh my God! It's like it took me a few seconds to to put it together. Yeah, like, it was. What script was he reading? What movie? Oh shit! It was Morad. It it was super enjoyable. Um, again, there's little jokes here and there, um, little inside <laughs> jokes. Uh, the cat gets used as a prop. Yes. A good chunk of time. Um, 
uh, Samuel L. Jackson has this great like character break. Um, we re they reveal how he gets the Motorola pager that is intergalactic that he yes. used in the after credits of in uh, Infinity I War. Um, if you're fucking watching this, I really hope to God you saw that movie because if you're gonna bitch it out with a spoiler, I don't know what to do for you. I really don't. Wait, spoiler about Infinity War? Yeah, the end I mean, with the you, pager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen Infinity War at this point, you might as well just, just pack it up, go yeah, home, go like home, go to bed, <laughs> read, read a wiki. <laughs> Why are you watching this? <laughs> um, so now we have the lead-in to Infinity War. So I gotta ask, what's your theory? What what's oh man? What's, where, I, where's that movie going? I, I I honestly have I have no idea because with with Infinity War. My thoughts were, okay, I, I, let's start with the fact that I set away from all theories and all that because sometimes it just ruins the fun for me. Um, if you're into that, it's okay. That's, that's cool, you know. Um, but I stay away from all that. So my, my, in my head, I thought, like, Infinity War, it's the perfect, the perfect movie to get rid of all, the, of all the contracts that they were going to get rid of. You know, and keep the younger, newer cast that still have a bunch of other movies to do. Uh, so in my head, I, I I was expecting that all the old timers were going to die, like like uh, Tony Stark and Steve Rogers and all the, the, the. Those are those are my two, but I think they're gonna pull something from the comic books, where Steve's gonna somehow get knocked to his real age. Well, I, I yeah, that which, means that that's that's what what what, what, I, what I was what I was going going for because I, like I was saying, I I, I thought that when. Of Infinity War was over. It was gonna be the snap, and this they get rid of these characters, and then with the new movie they will reboot everything, and then you will have new actors recasted for these characters, and you will have you will have a, a fresh start, which makes sense. You know, it's ten yeah, years. I, I've can... heard I've heard rumors of Cassie. Mm -hmm. Since there's a time jump, she's gonna be older, and there might be the Young Avengers. They have stature. I've heard the girl Hawkeye. Ha. Huh. Um, the the girl from Thirteen Reasons Why who was cast. There's a huge rumor she's playing Moon Dragon. Hmm. I don't know how legit that is because everybody's just clutching at straws because everybody thought she was going to be playing Kate Bishop Hawkeye. Um, if anybody is thinking that Fantastic Four and X Men are somehow going to get introduced in this, I don't God, I so. I wish that like the thing would fall through a warp or something, <laughs> but we're not gonna get that. I I that whole that would that would be perfect. That would be perfect. But I don't think it's gonna it's gonna happen because we still have that Dark Phoenix movie coming out, and then we have uh, the New Mutants if it ever comes out. They haven't even done the reshoots yet that were rumored to have happened two years ago. I I had heard at one point that. They thought it was too much of a horror movie. But that, that yes, okay, I'm okay with it's that. It's studio interference again. Um, Dark Phoenix has really? been shot twice almost completely from what's been rumored. I don't know how real this is. Um, some people who have seen early showings of it said that it's basically X-Men Last Stand Redo. Oh, and that's, that was not a good movie. No, and that scares the <laughs> shit out of me. But that was not a good Cause movie. Because you're basically telling Kevin Feige... Guess what? We're handing you a damaged property. Have fun two years trying to figure this shit out. Oh man! And Fantastic Four after the Josh Trank one, like, where do you you got to recast again? You can't bring any that of those movie, people. That, you know that that movie that that Fantastic Four movie. If you take you change the name of these characters, get rid of the second half. And, and <laughs> you change the name of these characters, and you take away that it's Fantastic Four. And it's just a, a movie of four people that went into this cosmic space thingy adventure. It wouldn't have been a bad, a completely horrible movie. It would have been a passable movie. I, so I, once you put all these characters in, you go like, ah. I, I legitimately yeah. think the second half of the movie was directed by another director. I, Phantom directed because I know Josh Trank at some point, there was rumors that he was fired and completely removed. Yes. And you, I mean, it, it could be. It may be because the second half... It's completely different. It's, yeah. It looks like it was shot different. Performances are different, and good God, is ah oh, man, like Michael B. Jordan's a great actor in that fucking movie. Like it's it's horseshit, <laughs> and I I don't want. It's hard to make a movie. I can't make a movie. 
I don't want to make a movie. Yeah, you just want to enjoy it. You just want it's, to enjoy it. It's just like, basically, Disney had to fire him. He was going to do a Boba Fett movie. They literally had to fire him because of how out of control he was. <laughs> he even became his own Reddit troll that was going after people commenting on his movie, bitching about how they wouldn't let him make the movie he wanted to make. I didn't it's, know that. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's kind of... It, it's out of control. And it's just like, what do you do with this? In, like, the X-Men universe, there is so much you can pull and use. Oh, wow. And we, <laughs> we keep going to the same well over and over. Well, we got to get the Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix Saga was a great story. Yeah. How about you get the other shit right first? Before we get there. Yeah, like, let it build. Let it grow. Like... You, you had First Class, then you had ooh, Apocalypse, but Apocalypse gave one thing that I really liked. Apocalypse that that, that girl bad. cast as Storm is perfect. Yes. She, she looks like the Storm, <clears throat> especially like Mohawk Storm during yeah, the yeah, 80s yeah. when I first started reading when Ramita Jr. was doing the art. And, well, I already went on the Fantastic Four rant. Let me further do it. How do you fuck up Doctor Doom? He's a guy in a suit. <laughs> Why do you keep giving him powers? He's a genius in a freaking death trap. It's you got I, Iron Man right. Like why the? F- I I don't know. I don't know why. I think they wanted to keep him. My guess, my guess is trying to keep it so that people won't say, "Oh, he's another Iron Man, but evil." You know, I'm 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 pretty sure that's what they go that what goes through their head. But come on, it's basically. Kind of it, that. It, it is <laughs> like evil Iron Man. It's I mean, just he became the in, infamous Iron Man at some point. That I mean, let, let's ago, not so. let's not lie here. Dark Side was out long before Thanos. <laughs> Thanos was a complete ripoff of Dark Side. <laughs> They're like, well, Kirby did one. We're just gonna change it and uh, yeah. not give him eye beams. Uh, yeah. Not make him look like stone. Make him purple. Make him purple. Yeah. Well, dark side's a little. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> See that? It looks like rock. It's different. It's yeah. different. That's a different. Now, thing. We're gonna have a purple guy with balls on his chin. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you mentioned that, I did like the the, the, the makeup on the on the scrolls. They, yes, I that that you. was that was good. They gave them their own unique look, and even the lower cast ones kind of had a different look to them. Yeah. Um, also, you'll find <laughs> out they guys. have science guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, gonna rate the movie out of five. What are you What are you giving it? Out of five? Oh wow! I mean, um, I mean, I know you, you, it's a watch in the theater for you. Yeah, that that one that one's one of those that I <laughs> that I would watch in the theater the theater. Um, Will I watch it again in the theater? Mm, I don't. I don't think so. I don't get the repeat viewing yeah. vibe of going back. Um, well, am I gonna get the Blu-ray when it comes out? Definitely, that definitely. Um, I, I would. I would give it a three out of five. I think three point five. You know, I, I'm. I'm right about three point five. There's parts where like I could give it a four, but yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'll I'll bitch about because I was talking to somebody outside the theater and they told me that. Uh, they don't try to think like critics and neither am I, but the pacing at a certain point kind of slowed down for me. Um, Second half of the movie really picks up, especially when you get the core characters together. But when it's just the Kree, it's a little slow. Um, There's kind of uh, heel turns and stuff. Uh, You you figure it out on the way. But also, I'm not going to bitch about the performances because again uh oh god i almost called him hugh grant uh, <laughs> jude law jude and ben mendelson were great uh yes. they really were and it's fun seeing samuel l jackson do like dry wit almost comedy at certain parts because he's not the nick fury that we know from the later movies yes i like that i like that i like that a lot that it's the same dude, but we, we get to see who he was before. You know that he's not. It's not like he ha- he was hired to play. Okay, you're gonna do the same Nick Fury you've been doing for 10, 20 movies. You know, let's do make it different. And Coulson, seeing Coulson in, in the movie theater again was actually that was that was a nice treat. And since I I talked about and it pissed me off since I saw the trailer before the movie. <laughs> 
Dark Phoenix looks like a hunking pile oh, of garbage. No. It oh. really does. I, I do want to have... Uh, listen. I, I I'll watch it. Uh, yes. <laughs> out of all these X-Men movies, I did not like X-Men 3. That, that movie was horrible. I did like all the... Uh, from X-Men First Class all the way up to now. I actually enjoyed those movies. Could they have done better X-Men movies? Psh, they could have done way, way better. But... I, I enjoy them, but this one I, I really don't even want to watch it. You know, like, I, I ah. feel if they could have kept Matthew Vaughn after first class and got him to do it instead of Singer coming back, and uh, that's not even including the sexual assault stuff with Singer. I'm not even putting that in the equation. Singer to me, I just we already saw his voice in the earlier movies. Yeah, I, I wanted to keep with the new voice because so, first class was a fun movie. So he, he's, he's directing this uh, Dark Phoenix? He's not on this one, but it's the guy who wrote it and uh, Simon Kinberg. So it's, it's like, like his way of saying, like, this is how I would have done X-Men 3 if I would have stayed here. And also, he, I'll just put it out there, he's rumored to be the ghost shooter of Fantastic Four's second half. The ghost director. Oh. Yeah. So I, my, my hopes are pretty dim on this i'll watch it um i think uh sophie turner is not a bad gene gray um i i just the material kind of scares me but a lot of the characters and i really hope they don't focus so much on jennifer lawrence like they did in the others like they're the one movie uh yeah when did the x-men movies became became movies about mystique I you really, <laughs> the, the movie where she was trying to kill Peter Dinklage, what was that? Uh, uh, Days, Days of Future Past. Past. <laughs> I felt like she was mailing in that performance, like, why am I here? I don't want to be here. Just, <laughs> because she probably didn't yeah. want to be there. <laughs> I, I mean, and again, like, I, I don't want to accuse anybody of cashing a paycheck. It could be just the material she was given. Um, now, Bruce Willis, I'll say, I, I've seen performances where it looked like he was just cashing a paycheck in yeah, Expendables yeah. 3. <laughs> and, and <laughs> which one? Which one? Expendables 3. Oh, oh, right. I mean, that's what it was. When Arnold Schwarzenegger's doing his cash line of Yippee Kaye, I was like, bro, you don't want to even be there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Arnold's just like, I'm down for anything. I'm not a governor. I can earn again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so... Uh, superhero movies coming out. I mean, I know you talked on last episode that you like Shazam. You're oh, looking I forward to that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I and I saw the trailer yeah. earlier today before the movie, and it actually now want to see it even more. I think it's gonna be a fun movie. I I I think I'm I'm convinced that it's going to be a fun movie. Well, the fact they're letting early reviews leak online now tells me that Warner they did this with Wonder Woman. And that shows they have a lot of confidence yeah. or getting a lot of feedback saying, like, it's okay, this movie. We're not, we're not running scared from it yeah. like we have with some of the other movies. Um, obviously, like, Avengers, Infinity, uh, Endgame, like, I... That comes out next month. I'm, I, April I, I'm, 25th, and I'll be there in line. Uh, yeah. There was a long line for Captain Marvel, by the way, tonight. Yeah. That was, that was, that was kind of weird, because uh, there's never a line in that movie theater, and there was a line today, and that was, thank God we had, we that, had a, a friend there waiting for us. On, that, on that's a good line. sign. Of course, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, yes. Um, I would like in this one, and my main complaint from Far From Home, there was way too much of his buddies. I want a little more Spider-Man, but I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal's playing Mysterio. Like, how how in the world is this happening? Why not? I, 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 I mean, like him as I like well, him. As I like I like him too, but it's just like of all the people you picture as Mysterio. You know, I've never pictured anyone as Mysterio because for me, he's just a a a, a bowl and a fish bowl for a head. You know, I I had I had for the longest time this theory that Sam Raimi was gonna have him if the Spider-Man series. It was going to be Bruce Campbell because Bruce Campbell was working at the wrestling <laughs> ring. He was a doorman at MJ's thing. Like, he was going to end up being Mysterio. Man, been, it would have been perfect. awesome. Yeah, that would have been perfect. And it meant that Sam Raimi probably would have tortured him because Sam Raimi always manages to get uh, Bruce Campbell beat the shit out of in every movie they do. 
Like, yeah, I mean. And also, <laughs> Sam Raimi in every one of his movies, he figures out a way to get the Delta 88 car that he <laughs> yes. reportedly lost his virginity in that his mom owned. Oh, wow. Every movie, even the, oh, quick, and, even the, even the quick and the Dead, it's in that movie as, really? a, as a stage wagon. <laughs> it, it's in there. Bruce oh, Campbell talked God. about it in one of the commentaries. Um, You're not going to go home and go to watch that movie again <laughs> just, to, just to try and find that. <laughs> just to try to find it. Uh Further out, uh, Wonder Woman eighty four. If all right, pa- Patty, I forgot about that. Patty Jenkins can get anywhere that vibe back that was in this last one. Um, I don't know how Chris Pine's going to come back, but supposedely he is. But it's got Cheetah in I mean, it. He is. I've seen pictures of him. Yeah, there, so I just don't know if it's is. a flashback vision haunting her or some crap. It, like I, I hope it's something like that. You know, but uh, it's a comic book movie. Anything can happen. So as if it's fun, if they make it, if they make it uh, make sense, and it's a fun movie, I'll you know what? Uh, it's okay. I'm not expecting the meaning of life out of a movie. I expect know? a Joker trailer dropping anytime soon. They're right? supposedly done right? shooting it. I'm waiting for how nuts that's going to be. Uh, they're recasting Suicide Squad in pot entirely, except for Harley Quinn. She's the only original actor coming back. Idris Elba is rumored to be dead shot is because it a Will Smith. Or is it, is it he's in negotiations, yeah. but okay. so I'm calling it a rumor till he actually signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Will Smith, I guess, is out. Maybe too busy playing the genie. Um, <laughs> oh, what else? Um, Flash, still nothing. We are five years since just uh, since. Uh, Batman, Superman, maybe more. Five years? No, 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 no. It feels like it. Oh, no, like yeah, it's like three because I I've been living here only three and a half. So okay, <laughs> and I saw that movie here. <laughs> so since Flash first got introduced, there's been this script. There's been five directors that have been hired and left. Um, get your shit together, guys. <laughs> it's, like, it's like nobody wants to. Everybody wants to do this, but once they are there, they're like, I'm out. I'm not gonna deal with this. It's it's there's. I think they're trying. They're trying to catch up so fast, and they shouldn't. I think know? now they're just like we're doing solo movies. We're not they even doing to. continuity. Uh, the Batman or whatever the hell Matt Reeves is calling it. It. I think they had a date for twenty twenty one now. Jesus. Yeah. Um, I'll take things that won't happen for five hundred. Oh no, it's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, that I'm sure. Now, Man of Steel two. I, I wash my hands of it. They don't want to use him. Then just let him go. So is he in or is he out? It's not him. He wants to do it. Okay. And then they were talking about getting Matthew Vaughn to direct. And I was like, fucking great choice. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a guy who will probably make a Superman movie where Superman's not going to be a sullen dick. <laughs> and I don't blame Cavill for that. Cavill, when he got to play fun at the end of Justice League, when finally got the Superman we wanted. Yeah, right. So wow, sad. doing funny I, i'm doing a dc movie and now i'm talking i'm doing a marvel movie and i'm talking about dc <laughs> movies right, but right. DC, dc's got a whole list of stuff after spider-man i don't know what phase four is i i really don't right i mean that's the last thing coming out this year sony's marvel got later, the morbius right? movie with jared leto is that happening oh yeah oh my god yeah it's really happening <laughs> the black cat Silver Sable movie. I don't know what happened. That it might be dead. Venom two. Venom made a lot of money, so that's yeah. That was surprising. That's gonna be yeah. a thing. So um, there was talk that the director is not coming back to do it. So that could be a problem. Uh, but shit, it made eighty million. I think like it. It and Deadpool were pretty close. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't keep track of how much money they make. Honestly. I, I do when I, I, I'm real curious because that was an oddball movie that was R-rated. I'm like, yeah. well, who's going to go see this? And suddenly a lot of people went and see it. Yeah, but I think it's a lot of kids from the 90s who were collecting Spider-Man <laughs> who were like, I know Venom. <laughs> hey, Tom Hardy's in it. He can act. Probably. Uh, yeah, I, there's a little bit of that. All right. Uh, I just want to thank you for joining us. Um, appreciate you taking the time watching. And like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, don't be an a-hole in the comments. <laughs> um, that's all I ask. Yeah. Gambit, where can they find you in um, your comics and such? It's uh, gambitsync.com or on Facebook, gambitsync. It's easy to find me. Uh, Instagram is the same thing and Twitter is the same thing, gambitsync. 
So yeah, look me up and check out my work. I'll, um, I self-publish my, my own stuff. Uh, and now I'm working with uh, working on a sketch a set of sketch cards for Dynamite. So haha, dream on to your <laughs> dreams come true. Jesus, that was a hard line to say. And I will be uh, just hiding under my comforter after editing all this and uh, probably at work. <laughs> so thank you again and farewell. And see you on the flip side.